the last few years, sales of new electric vehicles have increased exponentially. But the increased demand for the materials needed to produce the large batteries has some serious consequences. Keith Carson explains. The auto industry sees the future of transportation as electric. In the past, we've detailed how electric vehicles have a lower carbon footprint from cradle to grave, even if the electricity comes from coal or natural gas. However, there are serious ethical questions when it comes to the supply of some minerals used to produce these batteries. This is especially true of cobalt, which is found in every lithium ion battery from smartphones and tablets to laptops, in addition to being used to produce jet engines. So if you have a smartphone, have flown on a plane, or used a laptop, you've relied on cobalt. The issue is that according to the United Nations, over 70% of the world's cobalt supply comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where there are many documented cases of child labor and hazardous working conditions. Although this issue has been top of mind for organizations like Amnesty International for many years, it's becoming more well known to the public with the rise of electric vehicles. According to the Cobalt Institute, in 2021, electric vehicles consumed 59,000 tons of cobalt, 34% of the global total, compared to 26,000 tons for cell phones and 16,000 tons for laptops. Although most of the cobalt is extracted by industrial mines, as much as 15% of the DRC cobalt supply comes from so-called artisanal miners, who are often locals with very little equipment or safety oversight. According to an on-the-ground report by The Guardian, there are more than 250,000 artisanal miners, at least 35,000 of whom are children, some as young as six. Several car manufacturers have worked to ensure their cobalt supply is responsibly sourced, but this has proved extremely difficult due to a hard-to-trace supply chain. Artisanal miners sell their cobalt in buying houses, and it's quickly assimilated with the more regulated ore. That material is then sent over to China, where it's further refined. During this process, the regulated and unregulated cobalt product is mixed and the trail is lost. In addition to the human rights issues surrounding cobalt mining, there's environmental damage, including water and air pollution and deforestation. Close to the mines, cobalt has even been found at dangerous levels in the fish at nearby lakes and the dust and grit from extraction that can fill the air makes it difficult to breathe. Currently, several EV manufacturers like Tesla are making batteries without cobalt. These batteries are called iron phosphate and they don't use nickel or cobalt and are often cheaper to produce. However, they're less energy dense, which means they're not as efficient for long range EVs. So while there's potential, it doesn't seem to be a complete solution. Right now, there's no silver bullet to stopping the environmental and societal costs of mining cobalt. It'll likely take a combination of supply chain regulation, new battery technologies, and improved recycling of existing batteries.